Hi everyone, welcome back to Toy Crushed. Today we're going to open the Lego City building set with the race car driver. So these, this is for ages 5 to 12 and it's 45 pieces and we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, let's see. I'll just use my scissors. So inside we have all of these pieces and we have the instructions. And so the instruction manual actually tells us how to do all of this together. So let's go ahead and get started building. So I went ahead and took all the pieces out and color coordinated them. So all my reds are together, all my blacks, my whites, my greens, and then of course my gray parts. And then I've got the booklet that tells me how to build. So if I unfold the booklet, it'll show me this is what I should end up with when it's done. So if I just follow the instructions, I shouldn't have any trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. So the very first thing I'm going to do is just to do this part over here, which is putting the race car driver together. And so all the race car driver parts are right over here on this side over here, and I'm going to go ahead and put them together. So I'm going to first do, so I'll just set this right here so that we can see it. I'm going to put the legs on the upper part of the body. I'm going to put on the head for my driver. And then I'm going to put on the helmet. And then onto the helmet, one of these visors goes on. So I'm going to snap this into place onto the driver. Okay, and so there he is. So there is my race car driver. And I'm going to set him right back here so that we have that. Now, let's go ahead and start with the first set. So the first three parts, I'm going to use a green piece, I'm going to use this gray round piece, this pull part, and then I'm going to put the stoplight signal up on top of the pole. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to grab my green piece. And then I'll put the instructions over here so everybody can see what's going on. So I'm grabbing that green piece and then I, of course, covered up this gray piece that I need. So I'm going to put the gray piece right here and it goes in the center of that green piece. Then I'm going to take this post. The post goes right down into the center until it snaps into place. And then on top of that, I'm going to put the actual light signals. So we've completed that. The next part shows that I need to add the actual lights to the light pole and I do this by using this one white long piece and I do two reds and two greens on top of it. So I take the white long piece and I put two reds and two greens. And then I'm going to put that, as it shows, onto this post. So I'm going to put it onto this post, right, like so. Lego is really good about giving instructions that are re really helpful. For example, if I had put tried to put the white piece on and then put the green and red pieces on afterwards, then I would have been fighting with trying th this white piece coming unsnapped. If I put it on as Lego instructs, it makes it much easier. So I'm going to put that aside for a second. Now we're on to our next big piece. So let's go ahead and see this. So it shows that I need, so for the first, we'll do just do the first two parts together. I need these two black pieces and I'm just going to put them across on each other. So I'm going to make kind of a cross shape 
and put them right across on each other like this. Then step three shows, so I've got that, I've got these two gray pieces that I'm going to add on to the bottom side of this top black piece. So I'll get these two gray pieces and I'm going to put one on here and I'm going to put one on here. So now my piece looks exactly like the one in step three. For step four, I'm adding on the two white pieces on the top of the bottom black piece. So I'm going to add these two pieces on like so. That piece and this piece. So now my step four is complete. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add on a black piece over top of this white piece. So I'm taking my black piece here and I'm just adding it on on top here. So that's step five. On to step six. On step six, I'm going to put on the black piece here that's going to cover up these back two pieces here. This makes the back of the car. And it goes right onto this gray part. So now I have step six done as well. All right, let's look at our next step. So for step seven, I'm going to take red pieces and put it on the front of this gray piece. So this gray piece that's still here, I'm going to add these red pieces on. This one's going to go on like this, and this one I'm going to turn and go like this. So now I have step seven done. All right, on step eight, I'm going to put a white piece on right here, a white four piece, and a white four piece here. So my parts are looking exactly the same as the steps. Then on step nine, on these back two pieces right here, I'm going to put this gray part. So you can see for step nine, I have, but there's also another one that I almost missed. We're going to take this white piece and put it right over top of the red. So I'm going to take this white piece and put it right over top of the red. Sometimes they'll put two pieces that you need to do in one step, and if you're not careful, you might overlook it. You notice it quickly, though, when you get to another part. All right, so then the next part that I'm going to do is step 10. And on step 10, I'm just adding this black piece on right here that's going to go right in front of this gray piece. So I'm going to add that on. So now it looks exactly the same. Now on step 11, it's showing me that I need to put this piece on, but before I do that, I need to put it together. So I'm putting on this piece onto this piece. So I'm going to grab this piece, that's the same as this one, and I'm going to add it in to this piece. And then on the other side of that, I have this piece that needs to go on, which is right here, okay? So I am going to put this on right here, okay? And all of this goes on top of that gray piece I'd put on before. So we're gonna put it on right here, and we're gonna connect it right on here. Okay, so now my piece looks exactly the same as step 11. Okay.
on to step 12. For step 12, I'm going to be adding these two red pieces onto the car on the outer sides of this black piece. So I'm going to add one here. There we go. And we're going to add one on here. All right. So on to step 13. On step 13, I'm going to add two red pieces. I'm going to add a two-piece flat red piece here, and then I'm going to add the steering wheel piece in. So I'm going to add this red piece here and the steering wheel piece right here. So you can see that it's looking exactly the same. In step 14, all I need to do is add my wheels and my tires and this piece. So step 14 actually gives us, if you're looking at it, step 14 gives us uh, several things that we have to do. So we're going to add our wheels in and our tires. Now I just want to make sure, looking at my paper, that it doesn't have me set these up ahead of time. And it doesn't. So kind of gave us a quick instruction on how to do that. So we've got our four tires. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add this white piece on. Okay, and this white piece is going to go on right here on top of this red and snap down to connect those together. And then my four wheels and my tires are going to go on. So I'm going to put one on here. There's a small end and then there's a larger end. This is the end we want showing out because it's a wheel. So we're going to snap this together in here and it does really snap on really well. And we're going to snap one on to each of these. And then we're going to actually put our wheels on. And you have to kind of get those on really good. There's kind of a lip inside, so you have to get over it, that lip, and that's what it'll look like. So let me go ahead and finish it on the other two pieces, the other two wheels. So once you've got these tires on, kind of, once you've got those tires on, you've got your whole set done. You've got your race car driver, your race car, and the actual stoplight. And you'll notice I have a couple of extra pieces left. That is quite common for Lego to do. Um, it's nice because if you do happen to lose a little piece, then they have extra pieces for you. So here is our finished product. A really nice race car. It doesn't take long to build. And you can set your race car driver inside and he'll snap into place. And then you've got your race car driver. Oops. Put that piece back on. You've got your race car driver along with the light. If you like this video, please like it and comment below what videos you'd like to see in the future. And if you want to see daily toy opening videos like this one, please subscribe to Toy Crush. We love having you here. Thanks for watching.